Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. In the past few videos, you probably have seen that we're actually trying to use this wave maker in our tanks. And for this video, after we have assembled it in one of our tanks, we're actually showing everybody how does it operate and what are the impacts of this. So stay tuned guys as we well tell you some of the consideration that you probably have to do before you install a wave maker for 100 cubic meter tank. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys, for those who are not familiar with our channel, we actually do shrimp farming and mud crab farming using either RAS systems or even Bioflock systems. So we do release weekly content on Friday, so do like and subscribe if you like our content. So for today's video, we actually have been using paddle wheel in our indoor shrimp farm systems and the paddle wheels are actually meant for a 50 up to 100 cubic meter tank, so these are typically 7 to 10 meter in diameter depending on the depth so one of the experience that we actually run it during in our smaller tank or 50 cubic meter we realized it was not really very suitable because some of the shrimps will actually get caught up in the wave maker as it turns on so what we realized is we had to wait for the shrimp to become a bit bigger and in the meantime we will actually transfer this to another tank because initially when we tested out with this tank it is actually only after moving some of the shrimps from the nursery and this was only about one gram size so they are actually quite small so what we did then was to move it to a bigger tank uh, the, the tank is actually 100 uh, cubic meters or about 10 meters in diameter so the shrimps here are relatively large they're about 8 to 9 grams already after 40 to 50 days in these systems so this system is actually run on a bioflock zero water exchange system as you can see you know the shrimps are relatively okay the gut is actually very full but in terms of coloration they are not as dark as the ones that are made in soy tank so in our previous video, we actually covered that mixing is actually very important in our systems apart from aeration and this is because it helps the flock to resuspend and also perform a lot of functions such as assimilation of ammonium. So in this case, we actually been using two pedal wheels and a bit of diffuse aeration at the bottom. The first step was to turn off the existing pedal wheels. We did not remove it from the system is because we might have to reuse it again. And we are trying to substitute these two one horsepower pedal wheel with this wave maker, which is actually two horsepower in 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 power consumption. So you can see the motor is actually made out of stainless steel, but however the top and the, some of the gearbox is actually made from uh, mild steel, so you get a bit of rusting there. So first step, you know, making sure all the wiring is uh, as per connection, you do not see a very different wiring as compared to your pedal wheel setup. And since we will be only using one wave maker instead of two pedal wheel, we want to position the wave maker to be in the absolute middle because it creates a current originating from the center or the source in the middle. So that's how we actually position it and we actually position and tighten the position using strings to the side of the tank so that it's actually uh, secure. Uh, it's actually quite important because if this is not secure properly over time, you might, you know, drift off to the side and it creates a bit of water that's spilling out because if the pedal, if the wave maker is too near to the side, you might risk of water spilling out. And if that happens overnight, then you might have a big problem in the morning where you are draining out most of your pond. So we try to turn it on, but you can see there's something wrong with the connection most likely is because your power lines are inverted and the direction is wrong so what we had to do is again to do some electrical modification and just swap one of the lines l1 l2 mainly and once you turn it on this is how it should be look like so bear in mind this is a 10 meter uh, diameter tank which can house up to 90 cubic meters or even 100 depending on the depth so you can see once it turns on it's able to generate a lot of waves on the on the top and you can see water clearly moving up from the middle to the sides of the tank in which it actually scours a lot of sediments springing from sediments from the side of the tank into the middle of the tank at the bottom so it's a bit imagine it's like a teacup effect um so we'll be checking and running this for a week and see how it goes with the shrimps so hopefully the shrimp stays healthy you know like it was when we were running a pedal wheel system and once we switch over to wave maker i'll try to monitor for a week and let everybody know what are the results so this is actually very important before we test out any system at a large scale basis to test it in a tank to see how it works in a high intensity indoor farming environment 
so we'll update everybody shortly so do bear with us so that's all for this video we hope you enjoy and if you like our content at rs agriculture do like and subscribe so you can learn more about the latest equipment about shrimp farming and stay tuned